Well, hello and welcome people to the internet to another adventure. My name is Ganyans, and today as part of our Steam Next Fest crawl, we're checking out Elemental Exiles, a roguelike deck builder with uh, some different different heroes that we can play of, of course, different elements. Each one having their own unique deck and each having their own unique quest. It'll be interesting to see how their own uh, like personal storyline and quest plays into gameplay, if at all. But uh, I'm excited to check this one out. So let's go ahead and start a new journey. So we have Brooke, who's the water mage. Uh, Brooke was a dedicated apprentice to her grandfather until on the eve of her graduation, he abandoned her and left her for dead. Left her for dead? What was she doing? Uh, she set out of her town for the first time, determined to find the reasons behind this betrayal. With her grandfather's trail having gone cold, she hopes to... She hopes... Crack Redmain, an old colleague of his, will be able to shed some light on his whereabouts. All right. Oh, I guess that's the only one we have right now. So we actually have to unlock... Because I believe this character, maybe? No, where's the one with the spear? Uh, like, one of these characters is, like, one of our, our primary? Well, anyway. Um, yeah, it looks like we'll have to go ahead and lock some. So let's go ahead and start with Brooke, since she's the only one that we can actually start with. All right. So, looks like these are blocked off. Um, maybe we're heading in this... I'm assuming we're heading this direction. So we have our starting deck. Uh, I like the look of these cards. Very clean. Super cool. Uh, deal 9 water damage. Not sure what the 30, 30 heart is, though. We have some 35, 30. It's not sure what that is. Obviously, we have our cost 2. It's an attack. This is a block. 9 water damage. 200% uh, effective against fire blocks. Oh, okay. So there is definitely going to be um, reason for the elements. It's not just a... It's not just your style of card. It defi There's definitely an elemental strength and weakness here. Um, all right, let's just, let's get into it. Let's get into a fight. A cunning pack. You heard the wolves howl during the night, but they seemed far away at the time. Now you hear growling and it's a lot closer. You ready your weapons? That wolf sounded hungry. We, we don't lose to some stinking dang wolves. All right. So we got five water block, five water block. Yeah. Still 35 heart. Huh? Interesting. Uh, if first card played this turn, apply to weakness. Deal 50% less damage with attacks. Okay, and we have five, en five energy to start. Holy crap. Okay, that's a lot to start with. Um, we can't kill you, so I guess the rest will just all go to block. Now, what type are you? Do you have a type, or are you just like a normal type? Um, not sure. Can't, can't click on anything to, to check, so that's fine. I like the little effect. It's not it's not just armor. It's like literally water armor. Next turn, uh, next card played this turn deals double damage. Gain five water block, deal water damage equal to your current water block. Ooh, let's see. So that's four. I'd lose out on shards. What is this? Um. Okay, thing number one when it comes to any kind of deck builder or any roguelike or game in general. If you if you have a, a buff or debuff, if I hover over it, I need to know what it is. Um, so the fact that I can't see what these are... Strike one. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and gain the block. Focus. Deluge. You're going to double, so you're going to do, what, 20 damage? So let's just go ahead and get the kill. Boom! Get him dead. And then we, we burn a mana, but that's fine. We're doing six damage. Let's apply weakness. Uh, then I guess we can do... Focus Deluge. That's powerful. And we end this having taken zero damage. Fantastic. Victory. We are the best around. Let us collect. And we get a new card. Shining Slice. Got it. So gray. So I'm guessing that the attacks above their head will show what element they are. So they were likely just a normal type. Grant one light. If last card plays was a defend card, deal five damage. Light. More alignment gaining light reduces dark. 
Okay. Not sure what that means. That sounds more like an RPG thing than necessarily a, a deck builder thing. Um, I don't know if there's a, an actual, I'm assuming there's an alignment chart since it says that. The five fire damage increase. Oh, interesting. So we can get different elemental cards. Huh. Okay. Increase, increases any block gained. That seems extremely narrow. So do they have to have endurance to lose it? Or does this just decrease the amount of block they get? Either way, it seems kind of narrow. Um, so we probably just want Shining Slice. Increases cards damage by two this combat. Although this is pretty strong. And we are weak against nature, so maybe we take the Magma Pocket. It's only one mana. Yeah, and I don't know how important this is yet. Let's go ahead and take the Magma Pocket. Um, so we have two areas. I don't know which one. I don't, well, I mean, they're both the same, but I don't know what this is. So let's just go check it out. Probably an event of some kind. You encounter a strange ancient creature. You've heard legends of such beings, but never thought you'd actually find one. As you approach, it somehow senses your presence and its aura surrounds you. You understand. Its purpose is to pass on its knowledge. You just need to decide what ancient secrets you wish to know. Gain a minor blessing of protection. Where'd he go? Ah. Non-elemental blocks are increased by one. Well, we don't have that. Um, nature blocks. Nope. Water attacks are increased by one. Yep, we'll take that. Interesting that there was no skip option there, though. I guess it doesn't really matter. None of them were necessarily a, a downside. Okay. Let's take off. Uh, we have Elite. So we're unlocking more of the map. I don't know how relevant that is. Oh, there are stars? Okay. Well, we have a pretty basic deck, so I am gonna, just going to take the one star enemy. Uh, <laughs> Come on, you can't have a tree that's just named Dave. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> I mean, they did, but... Is it weird that I have a wooden staff? Is this like a human with a bone club? Well, not if it's this, not if it's a different type of wood. But why is your name Dave? Even a person in this world would. Oh, good lord! What are like? What are these? Thorn body counterattacks for two nature damage. Unblock attacks at a lingering poison card to your discard pile. Okay, yeah, so they are high. Okay, so they are highlighted in the color. But, like, what is this doing? What is this? This looks terrifying. What is this? I don't know what any of this is. Um, yeah, that, that's a big thing that needs to change. I, I need to be like, just like this. So, you already have tooltips here. Why are there no tooltips here? Hmm. Okay. So, Dave here. Ah, there we go. Wait, if I over... Ah, okay. So I have to hover over the creature itself to get the... Okay. I take back what I said. I can admit when I was wrong. You already have it there. Um, Maybe extend the hitbox up there. Yeah, maybe extend the hitbox a little bit. I don't know. Um, it tends to do four nature damage. Nature damage is strong against us. Oh my god, so we need to block eight... What do you plan to do? You plan a nature block. Now, what are you doing? Inf uh, intends to inflict a negative debuff and attack you for 15 nature damage. Ew. I, okay. I'm kind of screwed in this fight. I'm like big screwed in this fight. So I need to do like this. Who do I hit? I guess I hit you. This is going to deal 10? Oh, no, it's just... Oh, okay, it's just to the block. Okay, it's not to the unit themselves. Ah, okay. I was, I was going to say, that would be ridiculously... Uh, you, we would be in such bad shape if that were the case. Okay, now does shield go away after a turn? I'm not going to attack this just to see, so I am going to focus uh, focus Dave here. Um, let's see. Okay, so that being the case, I mean, the Magnum Pocket is still is still fine. Not that it's a bad thing. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and focus. 
We'll go ahead and water jet, weakness him. And then we are getting we're getting hit for a lot, but I can't really do anything about it. I guess we'll block and we'll just magnet pocket. Just increase the damage of that for a little bit. Now, okay, so shield is a one turn thing. Okay. Suffer three nature damage. Holy cr okay, we lost a lot of health this fight. Good lord. What are you what are you planning to do? It tends to use a buff. It tends to inflict a debuff. So we should probably see if we so is this like Slay the Spire? If I kill the boss, the fight ends. Uh honestly at this point, I think I'm just gonna leave this in my deck. Cause I should be able to kill you this turn. What's the debuff that we got? What's the debuff that I got? Vulnerability. Take more damage from attacks. Okay. Uh, well, we need, we need this, so let's go ahead and focus. Deluge, that should... Is that a kill? That is a kill. Okay, that does not end the fight. So this is not very... Uh, it's not Slay the Spire in that sense. You do have to finish the whole fight. Let's see. I should be able to kill you, right? Okay. That that dealt us a lot of damage, though. We went very low for that fight. Definitely a good thing we didn't go to the two-star. Um, okay, so we get a nature card. Deal five nature damage to all enemies. If the enemy loses HP, deal seven nature to all enemies. Wait, what? So this is just two mana deal 12? Okay. Um, if light is seven or greater. Okay, so light is kind of just like a secondary. I didn't want to do that. God, my stupid finger twitched. Um, okay, apply four weakness. The next card costs one energy less. Yeah, I really would have loved that AoE card. <laughs> um, gain two energy. I feel like, um, honestly, probably minor weakness. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead. Get into combat here. Deal in nine. What else do you do? Hover over. Thank you. Uh, unblocked attacks at a bleed card, your discard pile. And this where this enemy deals 125 damage to you when you are dark aligned. Well, we're not dark aligned. I think we're just neutrally aligned. Yeah, so this is pretty bad. Just deal five. Just literally deal five nature damage. Okay. Um. Well, we're we're taking a bunch of damage. There's nothing I can do about it. I didn't draw any any defend cards. So let's go ahead and focus. Uh, we'll just shards. Actually, can I kill? I don't think so. 18. No, I can't. If I took the energy, I could. Yeah, this is this is a little this is rough. This is rough. Alright, well we get the kill now. Okay. Now we get what? A dark card? Gain one dark. Uh draw three cards, this card, two cards, gain two dark. Deal two nature. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna bring my mouse way up here. Deal two nature damage to all enemies for each skill card in your hand. Deal three nature damage to all enemies. So what do I have? That's a skill card. Uh, I don't know because it doesn't say skill on it. These numbers are changing. I just realized they have limited number of uses. No shot. No shot. Our cards have limited number of uses because obviously the, these get rid of the first time you use them. Okay, that's interesting. That can potentially change what you get. Um, Man, two to all enemies is pretty bad. Although, I, 
I'm gonna take it. I don't I don't know what's what classifies a skill and what doesn't. So can we make our way back up this way? I, I'm just gonna make my way down here at this point. My health is so low. Stalwart guard. Okay. Uh tooltips should definitely pop up faster. <laughs> um it's taking a long time. Like, that's that's a pretty long time to pop up. Gain two block, gain one light. If the first card played, gain two block. It is free. Deal four nature damage, gain one light. If the last card played was defend card, deal five nature damage. So deal nine and gain us a light. And we do need light. Steals eight, but this deals nine, right? Yeah. So this gains us four block and a light. We do need more block. Okay, I'll take this one. Uh, can't go that way. Oh, okay, interesting. That's kind of how the map is working. Destroy Verdant Bust. Or Verdant Burst. I guess that regard. Eh. I don't really like that. Destroy Shards. And get Deflecting Embers. Gain 12 Fire Block. Gain 3 Dark. The first card plays turn gain 18 fire block. So when it says that, um, I'm not sure if that means that it gains an additional 18 fire block or it gains six additional. Um, this this gets uh, if last card plays an attack card gain 12. Let's do Rocky Retreat. I I definitely need some more block in my deck. I'm taking a lot of hits. Oh, we got a nice little shop here. Uh, for each enemy attack this turn, apply three weakness. That's not bad. And we need light. We could just get a... just. Let's see. Sure. Let's go for it. Oh, interesting. We can buy max health. And it's a boss. We're super dead. We're dead. We're dead. Super dead. Let's go. Big dead. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. All right. Let's see. For each skill card in hand. So I would assume that if I do this. I If I then do this. Oh, well, thank. Well, it shows that it's doubled. Right. Because we just use focus. So let's see. First. So first we need to figure out. If it does. For each skill card in hand, it does this. Okay, so based on the way that this card is formatted, I'm going to move forward with the assumption that any other card that has this reading, it does this secondary effect. In addition, it's not modifying this. So how many skills do I have? I have one skill. Which of these is a skill? Does this imply it's a skill? Or does it imply it's a block? Like, is this a skill? Um, not sure. Unfortunately, we're not going to have enough to kill. I don't know that I can afford to actually get rid of this. But at the same time, I don't know that I can necessarily afford to keep it in my deck. Oh, it gets... Oh, it comes out of my shield. Oh, okay. For each enemy attack this turn, apply three weakness. Well, nobody's attacking me. You're debuffing. And what are you doing? Intends to buff. Maybe that's three buffs. So we could kill you. This is this is actually a pretty bad hand this turn. You're blocking quite a bit. Oh wait, this is this is an attack. So let's go ahead and get kill here. You are going to uh, debuff me, so let's just gain some light. Oh, I see. Counter weakness. Okay. Um, okay, that I think I'm just going to leave my deck. 
Okay, and there's no sense in doing anything else. Oh, okay, and light, light doesn't stick around. Light is a... Right, so we're vulnerable. Taking a bunch of damage. It's going to defend, which is fine. First card played. Well, it's free to do so, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we can kill you, so we will kill you. Then we don't have to deal with you anymore. Um, since you're blocking, we'll deal ourselves three nature damage, which will get blocked by the block. Fantastic. Now, hopefully we get some, some decent attacks. You're attacking for, for 16, huh? That's a block. Unfortunately, not very good attacks in this case. But our blocks are pretty good here against his fire attacks. And we have light, so this will deal some okay damage. Okay, it dealt absolute crap damage. Fantastic. Um, well, we'll just increase the power of that. That's fine. Ah, okay, so there is an actual... you. It can actually order your defense. That That's interesting. Let's go ahead and block. I wonder if that will... For each attack suffered. Yeah, so it doesn't have to hit us. Let's see. So is this going to... Deal two extra hits? Okay, so it was the, it was the deluge that's a skill. So this is a symbol for skill. Okay, we've pieced that together. Now you shouldn't be able to hit us. And you're weak, haha, <laughs> idiot. Yeah, with only one of you, you're easy to take care of. Let's go ahead and double the damage. And kill you. That was easier than the, the previous boss fight. Alright, we get a fire card. Flamethrower. Um, deal 15 damage to all enemies, but add two burn cards to your discard pile. Ooh, that's not great. We could do deal 13 damage, gain 3 dark. For each attack in your hand, deal 21 fire damage. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, I like that. It's more dark card. Gaining dark reduces light, so that kind of screws us up a little bit. But we don't have a lot of attacks. It is a skill card, though. Um, and we would want to use this after the nature skill, so maybe we do want Supernova. We do have a lot of block, though. And actually, because we have a lot of water blocks specifically, this will hit us for less. So I'm going to take the flamethrower. And then we get a new item. Yeah, the pop-up for these tooltips is taking way too long. It's a 10 nature damage to all enemies. Apply for vulnerable. I think I might take the... Yeah, I'm going to take the gain 3 endurance. A stumble in the right direction. Attacking a water mage with fire was a rookie mistake. Even an apprentice like you can see that. You were right to never rely on Krek, so at least this has taught you to trust your instincts. Thank the elements you were given a direction before his guards ambushed you, and, and Krek said something about your master looking for a sorceress. It's not much to go off, but at least to start. Who is this mysterious sorceress, and how is she connected to your grandfather's betrayal? You won't find any answer standing here. It's time to head west and confront your former master. Demo complete. That was it? That was a quick demo. Holy crap. Wait, what? Can I go back and do more fights? Oh, wait. We can continue on. Wait. Wait. You said demo's complete, but I can still keep going. Maybe I can keep playing this map. Maybe that's it. Come across the beggar on the side of the road. They hold up the hand and look for you. What will you do? Lose 38 gold. Unknown outcome. Well, we don't have much money. We'll, we'll just give you the money we have. Give me something good. As you milestone reach location scene. Uh, okay. So we can't go either of these directions. So maybe we can come. Oh, gotcha. So we have another direction. Interesting. So maybe we start. Let's start making our way up there. 
Yeah, this is interesting. So this is a little bit more of like an actual RPG map as opposed to what I expected, which was a more, you know, traditional Slay the Spire map. Um, gain three self-doubt cards. Do nothing. Nope. I guess we're going into combat. Let's give her a shot. You're doing 11 damage, huh? Um, well, I see your 11 damage, Nate, uh, but that's good against water, right? That is good against water. So we could go, that's four, 45. Forty-five. Thir Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Jeez. Okay. That. Yeah. So like, everything seems to be like everything works. Yeah. And I can't. I can't math. Forty-five. Thirty-five. You dingus. Um. Like everything works and everything looks smooth enough, but everything just seems. It's almost like the animations are going through like molasses. It takes a little bit too long for everything to actually happen. Not everything. I, I shouldn't I shouldn't be hyperbolic. Not everything, just some things. Um, okay, well, uh Earthquake we already took. Deal eight nature damage, gain one dark, draw a card. Gain four nature block, gain one dark. Um, we need. Hmm. I mean, we don't really have anything that's like synergistic right now. We're kind of just we're kind of just building good cards. Water blocks are increased by one. Sure. Let's accept the challenge. Um, You are doing nothing to me. I am not scared in the least bit. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, we can just go boom. We can go boom. And we can go boom. Big dead. Okay, let's get some gold, some fire. Draw three cards for each fire card drawn. Gain 10 and eh, not good. We don't have enough fire cards. Deal three fire damage to all enemies. Gain one light for each skill card in your hand. Deal three fire damage to all enemies. I'll take that. We're starting to build up some decent skills. Increase all attacks by one when dark aligned. Ooh. Well, we're kind of we're kind of going more light build. So let's go ahead and leave. Other outcomes unknown. What what bad things can happen? Gain Minor Curse of Poverty. Have all gold rewards. Ugh. Well, I didn't like that at all. Okay. Well, now now we know that can happen. So you're going to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, these... Do, oh, these don't go away. Oh. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. I have made a terrible mistake. Yeah, and, like, that is a little weird. Like, why doesn't it do all the attacks simultaneously? Um, but it looks like you got stunned? So, I can do... Let's see. Oh, yeah. Water block is great against these burns. Now, at least we have that. But... Yeah, they they stick in your deck, which kind of sucks like a lot. 20 damage, huh? What if I just said no? This was not worth 4 max HP, not in the slightest. Huh. 
Yeah, see, like, that that took so long for that to actually happen, man. Let's actually just take care of an enemy here. Then we can burn a burn. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely amount of uses, which is strange. This is a strange mechanic. Not saying it's a bad mechanic, just very different. So I wonder how it's actually going to impact, impact uh, gameplay overall. Um, oh, we are, we are in serious trouble. And by serious trouble, I mean, we're, we're, we might just be dead. Um. Well, I suppose if we can kill you. We don't have light. I mean, we can kill you. Okay, so I think what we need to do is that, and then weakness this guy. Weakness this guy. Wait a minute, it's a counter potion? Oh, that is awful. Okay, well then we're, ju we're just dead. Alright, well... That was not worth the 4 HP. Not even not even close. Quest progress only 25% through the quest. Okay. Um interesting. So did I unlock a different character? I didn't. So what were the characters I can unlock? Finding and defeating them with another character or defeating 20 bosses. Defeating 40 undead or finding... Oh, God. yeah, so the map is literally like an RPG map. So if I... Okay, I want to see what happens if we were to start. That's very nice that it shows you where they are, though. Uh, we'll be available... Okay, so you can unlock basically everybody except for, what, three? Weird that there's three. Oh. The, wait, the, the title characters, the characters that are shown on your thumbnail, you can't play... In the demo? That is strange. I thought those would be the only characters you could play in the demo. Huh. I can guarantee he's going to be the coolest, the coolest one. So if I were to join, if I do start journey again. Uh, okay, so we have our Slay the Spire start. We can take a, let's see, Deluge. We can get another Deluge. Deluge is pretty good. Water blocks are increased by one. Ooh, I might just take that, though. Or gold. Uh, I think I'll probably just take the deluge. I don't think it matters. I'm not really going to start another run. So do things change? No, so the map stays the same. Interesting. Huh. So this is more, I guess it's slightly more rogue light than like. So basically it reveals this boss. So we haven't had this boss revealed yet. We know what this boss is, but we still have to go down there to progress our quest. So basically. So yeah, so basically you, you build your deck every time, but you can kind of craft the way in which you progress through the map? It's very strange. I kind of want, like, in order to get the full picture of how this game, act, like, fully works, I would want to unlock another character or two to see what it looks like then. Like, do we start at the same location? I'm assuming there's probably different starting locations. Maybe, like, these X's are starting. So maybe the paths change for different characters. Right, because this is supposed to be her journey. So maybe we make our way down here, unlock this part of the quest. Then we have to go over here for the for the um, second quarter, and then we kind of jump around. So maybe when we have a different character, they have a different quest, so it unlocks different areas, different maps, perhaps. Because if it's the same map, I think that would get kind of old. Um, and then we have yeah. So this is like this is your quest, huh? Very, it's a very interesting little game here. Now I'm starting to get the health of your card. So you definitely, basically, I guess what that does is it makes it so you don't have a build where it takes literally forever to win. 
you are definitely incentivized to build decks that kill quickly or not necessarily i mean not necessarily quickly but just reasonably fast um and having a bigger deck might actually be more beneficial and i'm not talking a massive you know like a hundred card deck but i mean it's very possible in uh like split in slay the spire to build a five card deck and just use it time after, and just circle through so you have the same hand every single time hmm this is an interesting one I, i'm gonna keep my eye on this one because i think it has potential but uh, you know like i said some of the some of the animations of um like the the area of effect the aoe attacks uh, i'm not sure why they didn't just all happen at the same time it just it and there was a big delay between the first and second attacks which which doesn't need to be there um certain tooltips were, were taking a little bit too long to pop up just just little quality of life things like that um in terms of the style i'm gonna be honest i wasn't the biggest fan of it i think it just needs to be it I, I would prefer it to be slightly tweaked to me it kind of reminds me of like a slightly upgraded flash game um i was kind of getting like uh oh what is it adventure quest and like dragon fable vibes which looked cool for their day but i think there's just better looking I don't know exactly what it is They're, like I think you like the character models and the style is fine it was just maybe I don't know the color palette or maybe they're too I don't know curvy I, I, I don't know like this looks fine I'm not sure what the difference is like these look fine and then once we go in here something about this looks odd maybe it's the false 3d I don't know her face looks almost like a like a turtle I don't know so, something is off about it i i don't know what it is maybe you guys see the same thing maybe you don't maybe i'm being way too critical but um like these cards the cards look cool man i i gotta give it i they're super simple simply designed but i like them i dig them um i would like a little bit more clarification as to let's see i just want to check this before i actually say this so that way i'm not like being an idiot yeah like Oh, well, I guess there's no keywords here. That's why nothing's popping up. Yeah, so see, this says, like, water block, water damage. There, there's nowhere for... I, I'm still assuming that this is a skill, but there's nowhere for me to actually know that this is a skill. Um, so that wasn't fully explained. Again, I think I think we figured out here. Ooh, so the one we got from the beginning is, is way worse. Weird. Okay, so I'm not sure why that's the case. Um, so like we did eventually figure this out. The game didn't necessarily tell us that though. Was there even, there wasn't even a tutorial at all. We just kind of jumped in. I mean, not that a game like this necessarily needs a tutorial. It's pretty standard, right? There was only a couple things mechanically that I questioned. Um, right. Our deck down here. Um, oh, what were the things that we mechanically questioned? Oh, right. So the, the modifier down here, uh, because of the wording you know like some of the cards i wasn't sure if it was modifying the damage or if it was adding the damage eventually we did get a card that made it pretty clear that it was adding a secondary effect but um my initial impression i wasn't necessarily i wasn't a hundred percent sure um i think it is interesting that you can build multi-element decks so it seems like it's a lot harder to build a focused deck around one element because to me um again i obviously i mean obviously I, I have a ton of hours in slay the spire and it's i mean let, let's be fair slay the spire is the standard right now it's not fair to compare every game to slay the spire but when a game does everything pretty much correctly i think it's fair to to draw some comparisons um so with, with each of these characters, I, I kind of view an element as a character, right? And by that, I mean, it would be pretty weird, I think, if you were playing, um, let's say you were playing, uh, uh, what, what the fuck's the character's name? Um, the first character, right? The warrior. It'd be kind of weird if you're playing the warrior and then all of a sudden... Well, I guess it'd actually be a pretty good card. I was going to say, what if you get a um, 
shoot, I forgot the name of the card, but it's like the, the one mana make three of the zero mana four damage. I mean, it's pretty good in, in any class, but you know, let's say you got a poison card, right? It would be kind of weird because you can't really build around poison in that class. So the cards you get are specifically for that class. So I would need to play more to see how much elements matter, right? Like, do you want to build solely a water deck or do you want to build a two two element deck or even a three element deck? We were kind of getting thrown element cards of all types, so it might be harder to build a focus build. So I don't know how important having a focus build is. Honestly, it seemed like it was a little bit more focus on light or dark versus focus on one element. Um, but that would take a lot more gameplay to figure out how to properly build a deck in this. So um, if you guys want to figure that out, <laughs> go ahead and go for it. Link to this to the Steam page is down below in the description. You can check out the demo for yourself. Full game is coming out currently on August 20th, two months away. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more gaming content. Here we play all kinds of roguelites and roguelikes, deck and dice builders, and tactical strategy RPGs, and so much more. Before today, everyone, I've been Ganyans. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.